Good morning. Now I really get the Steve from Stranger Things comment. Is it a compliment or is it like, you should go get a haircut? Do any other 24 plus year olds still take bubble baths? I'm only taking it because I don't feel well, okay? Let me live. I have a headache and I actually think that it's because I have been spending 24 minus seven, okay, um, 17 hours on my screen. And so now my head is like, I'm gonna go chillax. I feel the need to clarify that I wasn't taking a bubble bath just for the bubbles. It's a relax and restore potion. Cause I have a headache and I think it's because of neck pain. Probably not at all helpful. Also, when I look this up on Yucca, you would think like, ooh, health, a zero out of 10 with crazy carcinogens in it. I thought that was a good brand. We can't have anything nice these days. Also, I don't understand the big deal about baths. I wish I had a hot tub and Whenever I'm craving the sensations of being in a hot tub, I get in this bath. It has jets. Why wouldn't I? This brand of toothpaste, I've always been nervous to use it because it's fluoride free and I don't want my teeth to fall out. But yesterday when I went to the dentist, I asked her, is this type of toothpaste, is that gonna make my teeth fall out if I'm not using fluoride? And she said, I absolutely recommend this one as an alternative to fluoride toothpaste. I saw some studies that fluoride is linked to the weakening of your bones later on in life. I think it's a neurotoxin as well, which I don't need more of those. If you need a toothpaste that won't shorten your lifespan. Bing, 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 bing. This is the fit for the day. It's days like these, when it's poopy outside, dark, overcast, rainy, I have a headache. Those are actually the only two qualms in my life right now. That calls for some coffee. I try not to drink as much as I used to, but it's so good and it's just like fun. Honestly, it like makes your day just a little whirlwind of energy. And who doesn't want that? I probably don't need that, but who doesn't want that? You know, the feeling of being like, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited to have you here with me. Also, you bet your little bum we're starting off our day with this. Delectable Blu-ray muffin from Trader Joe's. These are literally a godsend, so. It takes every fiber of my being to not eat these during any other time of the day except for breakfast. Every single night I look at them and I'm just like, God, I should just eat one of those right now. But I don't and I save it so that I can have this moment right here. So at past meals, thank you for this, but not so much thank you for this. This, this was fucked up. Whenever I'm unloading the dishwasher, she likes to hide under it. Putting dishes away is like a little brain teaser memory game in the morning. It feels almost like the adult version of that kid's game where you take the block and you put it in the correctly shaped hole. Doing dishes is the adult equivalent. Or is that the worst analogy ever? No, good analogy because everything has its place. So you take the thing, you put it in its place, okay? So it's a good analogy. Anything like above 10 degrees and I'm still going for a nice coffee. I gotta go to the dentist's, oh no. I already did that. I gotta go to the eye doctor. I gotta go check out these eyes. Let's go check out these pearly whites. Oh no, those are teeth. These, uh, these eyes. Thankfully this eye doctor is literally right down the road. So I guess that's it. Thankfully that. When watching these videos back, I realize I take ungodly large bites of my food. I'm never just like, mm -hmm. I'm always like shoving the whole thing in my mouth. That's weird. Sorry if we've ever gone out to eat together and you've seen that. Now I know it's a little scary. One of the suggested thumbnails for one of the vlogs where I was making a burrito, me shoving the burrito into my mouth, not a bite of the burrito, the whole burrito just, I shouldn't do that, but the whole burrito just like, my eyes were like, Pennywiseing. It was a very scary visual. Actually, add visual here. Terrifying. That's horrible. Is that what I look like when we go out to eat? I'll work on it.
There is literally no parking here. This eye doctor is in a big hospital. I guess that's a nice thing because that means that everyone's visiting the people that are in there or everyone has appointments at this time. Probably the former. They're even parking illegally. Very popular hospital. crusties the yellow crusty stuff and the yellow discoloration that's the medication that the eye doctor put into my eyes those aren't eye boogers excuse the crusties So the eye doctor was fun. They gave me these glasses because I got my pupils dilated, which holy shit. I literally can't see, or I can see, but this is so blurry. She said, you're not gonna be able to see anything clearly for about eight hours, which so far so bad. I cannot see uh, text messages. Vision is great. We're doing well. She did say a few things. She was recommending that I blink more. She said that, I probably am getting pretty red eyes and dry eyes because I'm concentrating and not blinking. I'm like trying to blink now a fuck ton. She said, when you're concentrating, your blink rate decreases by 50%. I'm always concentrating, that checks out. Other cool thing, she recommended that I invest in some really good sunglasses, some name brand Ray-Ban, Maui, Sun, Maui Sun, I think. And I was like, okay, I guess we're going shopping on the doctor's orders. We'll go check out some Ray-Bans eventually, maybe revamp my style with a new set of eyewear. And I'm sure you're overhearing about how my appointment went. I also had these options of sunglasses, which, hello? Is this not the coolest thing? I'm like, why would I need Ray-Bans when I have these for free? This is like Neo from the Matrix. Pick a pill. I gotta eat, I gotta do some work, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, here see the wave. <laughs> we are headed to Sunglass Hut. Doctor's orders. I actually already have a pair of Ray-Bans that are perfectly fine. Maybe I shouldn't buy sunglasses, but I do want to try out a like funky style. Something a little more unconventional than what I currently have. Because right now I have the coolest, but also the most basic black sunglasses. They're awesome. They're dope. They're sick. But I don't know. I just want to look, okay? Sue me. It is a bit preposterous that these sunglasses cost hundreds of dollars. Not even like a hundred, but hundreds of dollars because I know that there's one brand, I think it's called Luxottica, but it's the General Mills of sunglasses and they make all the different brands. So Ray-Ban, Prada, Chanel, and I'm pretty sure they make some cheapo Depot sunglasses as well. It's just the branding, but I'm falling for it. I'm going Ray-Ban name brand because again, doctor's orders. I have such a one track mind that whatever little task I'm focusing on, that has the entirety of my attention as I multitask, drive and vlog. I'm being safe, I promise. But, uh, what was I saying? So if I'm writing a text and you're talking to me, I unfortunately cannot hear you talking. I am concentrating 24 seven, except for when I'm sleeping. So 18 seven, how much do I sleep? 16 seven, I'm concentrating 16 seven, which means that for 16 hours of the day, I am probably blinking 50% less than I should. And I was just thinking, how many times did I blink during that whole segment? Was it enough? So now I gotta like consciously lubricate these eyes. Am I a compact car? We'll just pretend I am. What defines a compact car? And if you're not compact enough, does anyone say move? Also, why is there specific parking for compact cars just because it's a smaller spot? But if you can fit in the spot, then aren't you compact enough? What's going on here? We're not in Kansas anymore.
What do you think of these? Well, unfortunately, no luck. The style that I wanted, unfortunately, didn't come in polarized, and polarized helps to reduce eye strain, so I learned from the wonderful young gentleman that was working in the sunglass hut, and that's kind of the purpose of these sunglasses. Per the doctor's orders, it kind of feels like we just made $200. I'm like $200 richer. If I go out and I'm expecting to spend money and then I don't end up spending that money, I'm like, oop, save that money. Probably a toxic financial mindset to have. Anything to make yourself feel good, right? That's the point of life feeling good, happy. I just realized I never filmed an outro for this vlog, so this is the outro. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We had a good day. Headache is largely gone, probably because I took a bubble bath. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's a big hug.